Hello, this is Ted. Uh, Raquel today wanted to know how to make a WAV file from GarageBand. So you start out with your recording, whatever you recorded in GarageBand. Okay, we have a recording there, and then we're going to share our song to either send our song to iTunes. Now, no matter what way we send this, if we send it directly to iTunes or we export it, um, it's going to create an AIFF file, um, which is fine because you can use that file to um, and change it in iTunes. So you send your song to iTunes or create an um, export your song to your disk. Um, those are basically your the two ways that you would get it to iTunes. Um, when you do that, when you send your song to iTunes, it's going to have that, and you can choose and compress it and share it. It's going to make an AIF file in iTunes. I'll do that now. This might take a minute because it's a pretty big song. And while that's happening, we can go over to iTunes and look here under iTunes and Preferences in General area and then Import Settings right here. And you have choice to make it an MP3, lossless encoder, AIFF encoder, but we're going to choose a wave encoder because that's what you want. Okay, you can have custom settings if you want. I would suggest maybe just leaving it the way they have. Um, instead, then say OK. Alright, and we'll get out of the preferences. So right now it's going to come over here. In GarageBand it's still creating the mix down. We'll go through the whole process. And as long as you have that preference set, in, in your iTunes, when you get it back over there, it'll be easy to, to make it what you want. So creating a mix down. Okay, and there it goes, and it starts playing when it gets in there, so you can stop that, and you see right here it's an AIFF file. Now all you have to do is go under Advanced and create a WAV version. Now if you had had in your preferences create a MP3 version, that's what would be there, but right now we selected WAV version. So when we click on that, there we go. It's going to create a wave version. Now what you need to do really is I'll to find that now because it's created it but it hasn't automatically imported it. You go here and you go to show and finder where that file was that you your AFI file. And right next to it will be the wave file right there. And you can re-import it into iTunes just by dragging it in there. And there you have your WAV file and your AIFF file. Okay, I hope that helps and enjoy your day. Bye bye.